We're being asked to trade in our freedom, and look what we're offered in return. It's about bread and circuses, isn't it? Bread and circuses for the, for the little people. The, the political class say to us, you needn't worry about sovereignty or any of that stuff. You're going to get better mobile phone rates, and that's the good news, and you're going to get slightly cheaper holidays. And those are the things that really matter to you, aren't they? Because you're one of the little people. I mean, would you really trade in your national identity for cheaper mobile phone calls when you're abroad? They're treating us like natives in the 18th century, but Captain Cook lands on the shore and he starts handing out these, these beads and trinkets, and we're going to be happy with that, and we're going to sell them our country for them. Just shows utter contempt for what they pe think people are like, because they really do believe that these little trinkets are going to buy us off. In the referendum, we will be asked to choose. Do we want to be governed by an organisation which we don't understand, run by people we don't know and haven't elected, who have the power to impose on us laws that we haven't debated and have little or no chance of blocking or repealing? Have you decided what you're We need to regain the right for British people to make British laws. If people believe that the best way to strengthen the United Kingdom is to hand over every year more money and more power to an unaccountable bureaucratic elite in Brussels, then what they should do is campaign to stay in the European Union. It comes down to the essential issue, the working man and woman of this country, against people who think we have a better plan and a better mind than you. And if you don't like it, what are you going to do? And the answer is, we're going to vote leave. So, There are a number of issues where I believe that we should be leaving. This is people versus the establishment, people versus the elite. I just hope that the mass of people who may not go around being interviewed much, may never get a look in on any of the media or television, come June the 23rd will be out there saying, this is our chance to get our own back. Give us back control of our own country. With general elections, it doesn't really matter who you vote for, Conservative or Labour, because you know that in four years' time, you can change your mind. This time, you can't change your mind. This time is for keeps. This referendum is the most important political act that has happened in my lifetime. This is about our future, our freedom, our democracy, our right to govern ourselves. What really matters is that you should have the power to remove the people who govern you. The reason why the suffragettes went to all that trouble to get the vote was because they wanted to, they themselves, be treated as grown-ups and decide their own destiny. If I was told I would be stewing grass to feed my family in five years' time, if we left the European Union, I would still do it. It's time to regain our freedom and independence the right to decide ourselves how we live our lives. There's a lot at stake here. What we want is democracy. We, the people, should determine our own destiny. We have the capacity to shape our own futures. So my question is, what price freedom? <laughs>